Here we have the perfect example of a warm hard drive. It's a 160 uh, Mac store that runs warm. Um, right now, Spinrite is putting the temp of the drive between 124 and 128. Spinrite will stop at about 130 degrees. If you were to feel this drive, it feels really hot. Now, hard drives are supposed to run cool, but if they're defective or if they're going bad, they can run warm. And if you're doing data recovery, it's best to keep them as cool as possible while you're trying to get the data back off there or run spin right. So let's go ahead and take our camera and put it right down here. So we're going to go ahead and put this hard drive cooler on here and we're going to plug it in. There we go. The cool thing about this hard drive cooler, or it's just a CPU cooler, is the fact that below there is, let's focus on there, it allows the drive to breathe all the while, and I mean if you were to feel this, there's a lot of cold air coming down and then on either side of the drive. Already, you can see in these few seconds, we have got the temp of the drive down from 124, 128 down to 117, 118. So we're going to come back in about five minutes and check the temp of the drive um, and see what it's at. Talk to you in a few. Okay, it's now at 55% and the drive temp ranges at the moment from 104 down to 102 so we've successfully dropped 106 uh, we've dropped the temp by at least about depending on where it was to begin with about 20 degrees and so 106 is a good safe temp to scan a hard drive with or retrieve data a lot safer than 130 so this will continue to drop now I've learned that if you put the hard drive cooler on before you even start or while the drive is cool, the temperatures don't even accumulate to 90. So it's trying to cool down an already warm drive, but if you were to put this on before you even turn the drive on, it, it keeps it a lot cooler. So anyway, that's my demo of a CPU cooler used as a hard drive cooler. Thanks for watching.